Hey everyone, Miss Nicole here, and this week I'm back with our last and final writing style. I know, cheer! Our final writing style is one of my favorites because it requires you to be very argumentative. And who doesn't like to argue? It's called persuasive writing! Yay! Persuasive writing is a type of writing that tries to persuade someone to agree with a certain point of view. It's also known as argument writing or opinion writing because ultimately you're trying to persuade someone to believe your opinion. Persuasive writing follows the following structure. Usually you're going to start with stating your opinion. For example, theirs was you should visit the circus. Second, you're going to give your first reason why someone should agree with your opinion. Theirs was you'll see the lions. Next, you'll give a second reason. Theirs is you'll see elephants. And third, finally, you'll give your third reason. You'll see bears. And then you'll call the reader to action with a statement that's going to grab their attention and finalize why they should believe your opinion. Theirs was get your ticket to see the circus today. Now, let's take a look at some examples. This one is a persuasive paragraph all about why you need to plan ahead when going on a camping trip. Let's see how they did. Plan ahead before you go camping in Florida. Don't wind up in the wilds when you want to be near Disney World. And don't wind up on a concrete RV pad when you really want the forest primable. Find out that what parks are good and available and what they are like. Get good information on what to expect and what options are. This can make all the difference in the quality of your vacation. All right, let's take this apart a little bit. They, it looks like they stated their opinion that you must plan ahead before camping in Florida. Then let's see if they provided reasons why. The first reason was you don't want to wind up in the wilds. The second reason was uh, the, their second support statement was to find parks that are available and what they are like. And the third one was to check it and see you know all your options. And then they wrapped it up by saying doing all of these things will make for a much more enjoyable experience. Looks good to me. Let's take a look at another example. This one is a persuasive piece of writing all about why we shouldn't have homework. Ooh my, let's check it out. We shouldn't have homework. Okay, they stated their opinion. It, then let's see if they list their reasons. It takes away from family time, okay. You have to do your homework instead of playing a family board game or playing catch. You can't go outside to play so you will get fat. That's their second reason, I mean might have a point there. If you bring it home, you will rush through it so you can play video games. We should do our work at school because we have better equipment there. Ah, a good third reason. We should also do it at school because we can't ask our teacher questions when we do it at home. Wow, they're providing lots of reasons to support their argument. It's hard to concentrate when you could be outside playing on a sunny day. And then let's see if they wrap it up with the conclusion. I hope you agree with me. Ah, looks pretty good to me. They stated multiple reasons in support of their argument as to why we should not have homework and then wrapped it up with a closing statement stating you should agree with them. Does it look good to you? I think so. Thanks for watching this video on persuasive writing. You can even make this fun by turning it into a family-friendly competition. Who can write the best persuasive paragraph? Let your parents or parent guardians be the judge. See you next time. Bye!